My name is Emma Judd. I'm a local artist here in Seattle. I've been coming to the Soto Maker Space for maybe two years, um, every once in a while. Um, and I run a small little Etsy business. This is my first time with the Muse. I've heard about it, um, and I'm really impressed. It's really fast, it's really quiet. Um, I'm not getting very many fumes from it either, which is a really nice surprise. Yeah, so being a small business owner, I want to use everything that I buy. Uh, material is expensive, so um, when I cut a big project out, I have maybe this much scrap left and I want to save it. And what's really nice about the Muse is you can actually go into the software and place each individual shape exactly as you see it because the, the machine will actually take a picture of your material. So if you have a piece of wood that's this big and a big hole cut out of it, you can utilize all the space around it and not waste anything, which is spectacular. I really like that feature a lot. So definitely one of the things that's been holding me back from buying my own laser cutter is that I live in an apartment, it's small, I want to be mindful of the people who live in my building, so I always just thought it would be irresponsible to own a laser cutter um, in my studio space. But this, this is kind of giving me some ideas and opening that up a bit. Um, might want to check with my landlord first, but I might be able to get away with this, I think. So that's really exciting, So I, cause I don't have to wait for, to be able to afford a house basically to have a laser cutter. So I use Adobe Illustrator for all of my work. Um, and for this, it just seems like it's a, a question of just being able to save it as a different file type, which is no problem at all. It doesn't, um, with other machines that I've used, when I bring it over into the, its driver, into this other software, it actually changes my file a bit, so I have adjustments to make, such as the size and the stroke width and um, other little things like that. So it just, it just takes more time to translate the image to something that that laser cutter can read, and this takes nothing like that. I can just save it as an SVG or a PDF and just drag it in, and I don't have to worry about do, uh, changing the file at all. So that's really good. So I have a beagle and a couple of dachshunds that I cut out. Looks really good. Let's see a little better. This was at 35% power. This is just a cherry veneer, really thin. It didn't, there's not too much scorching looks really good and clean. Um, there's some really cool features that are actually really practical um, and make sense to me, so that's really nice. Um, yeah, overall I'm really impressed.